what's good youtube it's been a minute since you've seen me uh last update we talked about just kind of how where i've been the last you know few weeks or so dealing with things like military orders and kind of how like i slipped a little bit on my diet and things like that but you know i've been back on track and i'm super happy about that today i'm actually going to take you guys grocery shopping so we can do like a grocery haul so we can see exactly what i'm eating what i'm getting how much i'm getting and kind of see where it all totals out just kind of give people an idea of um, what it's like and how much it's going to cost uh, it's actually meal prep and eat healthy because i think there's this big misconception that eating healthy is super expensive i really think that people should know that eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive and that it honestly isn't as expensive as you probably think it is so we're gonna go do that but first before i take you guys on this grocery haul let's go hit the gym Made it, we're here at the gym here at VB Iron, like always. Today, we are going to be running a little bit of a different combo. So, normally, I run the Get Raw Nutrition, uh, the Seabomb Savage pre workout, but I'm out, and so all I have right now is the C4 Ultimate Shred. Uh, it's not a bad pre workout at all. Um, oddly enough, I do have a code for that. Actually, I might have a code for that, not 100% sure um, if it still works, but. If it does, let me know. If not, I'm sorry. It's still not a bad pre-workout. But to go along with the C4, you guys know me. Gotta have the Get Raw Nutrition. Gotta have that pump too. This stuff is like magic, I swear. It's a little bit busy here right now, which is honestly surprising. Um, it's not busy like a typical commercial gym where like the parking lot is super packed. But for VB Iron, it's packed like there's like there's at least 30 cars here right now and a gtr just pulled up and i love that damn gtr it's funny because there's a gtr right there that just pulled up and then there's a convertible audi r8 sitting right over there like people that go here got some got some banger cars for sure let me go ahead and get this mixed up so i can get in the gym and hop on some equipment because hopefully today's a good workout i need a good workout But yeah, I didn't even do, I didn't do those body weight dips, not gonna lie. Um, by the time I finished the flies, I was ready to go. I figured rather than stay in there and force some reps and potentially injure myself, I figured I'd just get the fuck out of there. I've had a good chest day. Today was a good push day in general, so now it's time to go get some food. All right, so had to go back to the house uh, before we go to the gym because um, had to pick up the Durango. Obviously, I'm in a different car. I'm not in the Subaru. But there's a reason for that. Huge and special to me um, because this is something that involves a famous person who is unfortunately no longer with us, but somebody I used to watch growing up all the time, somebody I idolized. Their approach to life and their approach to work in general. It's a mentality that I've embraced for years now, um, but even more so as an adult. 
um, because it, it really holds a lot of weight. And if you can figure out what it is just off that little bit, um, props to you. If you know me, you probably know exactly who I'm talking about, but it's a giant canvas uh, painting or like a giant canvas uh, screen print of it. Um, so head in there now to go pick this up. Shout out to my boy Alex for, for letting me get this off of him because I've uh, been to his house a couple times and I always ask him about it. I'm like, yo, let me get that off of you. You know, like, let me let me buy that, please. Like, I need that. Um, and he always said no, no, no. But um, he's, he's about to move. Um, and so the opportunity came up. He was like, hey, I will let you buy this off of me. And I'll sell it to you, you know, really good price. And I jumped at the opportunity. Anyway, okay. Uh, package has officially been secured. Canvas is sitting back I'm there. Learning how to choose the right audio apps for you. Shut Which one do you up, Siri? Okay. But yeah, so picked up the canvas, just picked it up from Alex. Again, appreciate you, Alex, big time. Like as a fan of this person and and you know, a real supporter. Um it it means a lot that I'm able to get this off of you because Anything like this with this person on there, we all know is stupid expensive right now because of their untimely passing. But picked it up, super happy now. And now I gotta get to Walmart so we can go grocery shopping and then I can get home because it's 8.30, super late. I still haven't eaten yet. I'm supposed to eat within an hour and a half of working out. That didn't happen. Sorry, Charmaine, my bad. Um, but this is just, this is too good to pass up. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to have this. I'm, I'm trying to think now, like, where I'm going to put it up in my house. Like, where I want to put it, where's a good place to display it. Because uh, I want to be able to see it every day. But I also don't want it to be, like, in the way. So, uh, let me focus on the road. And I will pick you guys back up when we get to Walmart. So, as you guys saw, obviously I didn't bring the whole camera in there with me. Everything I recorded was on my phone. But we're gonna do a final damage report. Eating healthier isn't necessarily as expensive people as people think it is. Um, I think people just, I think, you know, if more people were more conscious about what they were getting, um, you don't necessarily have to buy the organic stuff. You don't have to buy like the whole food stuff, things like that. Like you can walk into Walmart, not break your bank, you know, and get a lot of healthy options. So. Uh, we're gonna exclude the things that aren't for me um, or aren't for eating, like the detergent, air freshener, things like that that I had picked up. I had a uh, line item by line item on what I picked up and we're gonna give a total and see just what it actually costs for me to eat. So eggs, 18 count of eggs. I uh, picked up three of those, so 262 times three. Uh, let's see the yogurt. I picked up two of those, so 546 plus 546. Uh, ground beef. Jesus, that's 657. All right, it's not necessarily the cheapest. Plus 657 plus 657 because I got three of those. 
uh, the strawberry bananas are frozen. I got two bags of those. Those were seven seventy-four a piece. Uh, the guacamole was five forty-three. Uh, peanut butter was three ninety-eight. Broccoli was a dollar sixteen. Tilapia was nine forty-two plus nine forty-two. Bagels dollar ninety-eight. Got two of those. Uh, Rice Krispie Treats was ten ninety-eight. We'll add this five pound of great value HML. I'm not sure what that is. Plus 548. If I did my math right, which I'm kind of afraid I didn't. Oh, I forgot the cauliflower. That was 98 cents plus 0.98. All in all, a little over $100, like $102.80 roughly. So we'll say give or take five or 10 bucks just in case I miss, miss something. But $102, like that's, that's really not a lot when you think about it. Like that's, if you're, if you're eating out a lot or, you know, you're spending your money on a whole bunch of junk food and like processed foods and things like that, like nothing, nothing wrong with that. Like we've all done it. I've done it in the past. But whenever it comes to bodybuilding, you obviously have to eat cleaner. And for $102 for the, all the meals that I'm going to get out of all this food, like that's not bad at all. Like I would gladly pay $102 and that's, that's really not that much. Like it, it really isn't. Especially when you think about it in terms of like grocery shopping, like $102 to eat healthy, completely doable. So I think we definitely busted this myth um, that you don't necessarily need to break the bank to eat healthier. It's not necessarily super expensive to eat healthier either. And I mean, and that's just for one person, like $100 for me to feed myself, you know, for an entire week. Actually, there's probably going to be closer to like a week and a half, two weeks with the portion sizes. You're really getting a lot of bang for your buck. Appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. I know it kind of dragged on a little bit, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know if you guys are feeling like the little workout montages I'm, to I'm tossing in there as well. I'm trying to experiment with, do I just want it to be like just a 100% like montage of exercise to exercise? You guys are enjoying the series so far of just a complete novice, complete beginner, you know, working and, and just, working towards the goal of stepping on stage from a very first bodybuilding competition. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would consider subscribing. That would mean the world to me. I'll just see y'all next time. Y'all take it easy.